Big TT on Nemesis. What is this? Better here. I've been seeing a couple of mids on worldwide famous LOL Nemesis's channel. Man, what a story. Hey, that guy's a really good at League. Thank you. Yeah, okay, I'm getting praised by Big Tonka T. Can't close out this game. To Bro, if Silver Mid ever LCS. becomes meta, fucking smite me where I stand. How boring will this game be? I agree. And end the game. This is as good. He's all right. I played with them. Yes, a he kind of has a Chobi problem. Where he needs to CS. The side, yeah, I do. He needs to CS a minute. Yeah. He starts switching in real life. I do, I do. He's actually He's right. I think it weighs him down as a player. Him, I agree. If I miss a CS, it tilts me harder than if I miss a spell on a champion, if I miss a kill or something. Tyler 1 is good at reading players. With Nemesis and Chovy, same lane, fighting for CS. Chovy is better at CS than me. I don't know how he does it, but he's actually better than me. Fuck! <laughs> I'll get there one day. I play. I, I think it's just the pink, no? If I had two pink like Chovy, I think I'd also be just as good. Really as good at him as Yas when I was in Korea. All right, Junger, I'll save you with a Vagar game. <laughs> I can't do Vagar into Lucian. I'm gonna die 24 7. All right, Vag Syndra game. Yo, what the fuck is this? Clans Rumble? Um, I guess the thought process here is that, like, he cleanses the W of Karma and then all in here with Phasers. Two pots you changed. First of all, this is a Lucian player. Second of all, this matchup is really hard, so I kinda need two potions. Is it still ADC every mid game? Or just happen to be against Lucian? It, I would say, like, half games right now in high are just ADC still. Yeah. I need to focus, because Lenny face against Lucian is really tough. And the way this guy's positioning in lane is already very good by him. Okay, has Q start. No, that minion was a bit unlucky. Nice, that was a bug that just happened. Why was that a bug, you might ask? Because my Q applied on the E, even though I didn't cast the Q. And that's a bug. So I got a free splinter and more damage on him with a bug there. Damn it. I need to be careful, he's gonna dash on me soon. You can see that I'm bleeding a lot of CS in this matchup. And that's because he's playing pretty well when it comes to like spacing and I'm avoiding CS to not lose too much HP. So much more. Hello, listen. He does die though to battle, but... Listen reacted really slowly uh, to my stun. I think if Listen walks up faster, it's probably just a kill. I want to get to my last chapter, but it's kind of going to be hard to survive to last chapter when I have not the best last hitting this game. Like, look at the last hitting. Every minion is just getting ruined constantly before I can last hit it. But then again, he's not super far ahead of me, so I think we'll be fine. I flashed too late. Wow. 0 0.2 second too late flash kills me there. Not good. Lane against solutions never too fun. This is why it's one of the champions I usually ban. Okay, my button just casually taxed me like three minutes, four minutes. Thank you guys. You can see how obnoxious Lucian is when it comes to laning. It's like if top lane players hate playing against Rumble, like in the past because his laning was strong, Lucian's gonna like that on mid lane. We don't have enough damage. That's really rough. At least I have a good freeze. Play that gank as well as we possibly could, but we missed a little bit of damage. Well, to be fair, Lucian did lose a lot here.
this jump. Nice. It's fine. Okay, double Q. Now my lane is gonna become for sure a lot easier. I can kill him if I land one E here. <gasps> wow, this fated Ashes item killed me. Damn it. I think I misplayed though. The misplay here was that I walked up so close to the wall that Alistar W'd me. I should have just comboed him and walked back because I knew Alistar has no flash, so then my Lee Sin and Rai could have just killed him. And then I wouldn't be in the position where Lucian all ins me. But also, one thing I didn't account is also Kartus ult, right? I'm not really thinking they have a Kartus and then I get a random ult on my face at 6. Oh, on my way. But I just wasted my E on the wave, which is not the best. I do kind of want to go mid lane. Not bad though. I got an assist. Boots are spiking in a minute. Roaming with Simga when you have no boots is always tough. Oh, he went uh, Merc Solution. Okay. These are the nerf Mercs. A bit less MR. Damn it. I'm stacking all the splinters, but I don't think I can save you. Oh, okay, you're alive. Nobody is dying, huh? I could get re-ganked right now, so... I need to be careful not dying. I think I was just basing at Ludens. Okay, he did base TP. Not bad. I'll have a TP advantage over him in 40 seconds. I can make like a play on the rest of the map. Karma build is Moonstone Rush to port to Karma. That means our top laner is not going to be doing a lot of damage throughout the game. But Karma RE is really good into Kartus ult later on and Rumble ult, so we got that going. That was probably a pretty decent trade for him. I'm really close to Kartus execution. Kartus is gonna execute me. I'm getting the cannon with me though. Yeah, Kartus is very annoying. I'm always playing with like 10 or 20% less health on my health bar because of Kartus ult being there. But you can see that I'm kind of killing Lucian even though he has mercs. I don't think mercs are that big of a deal anymore. They got really big nerfs and I don't really mind it if the player buys them. But by him buying mercs, you can see it also delays his main item so much. So now like he's still not even close to getting Borg yet. Okay. Missing a lot of CS this game. Leave me alone. Come on. Enemy team really aggressive, they want to kill me, but I'm kiting them really insanely well. Nice, sorry I didn't, I should have tanked a bit longer so he doesn't take two tower shots here. Archus has ult, Velvet could be mid, but she doesn't have like something like Shride, she has Borg, so I don't think she can really reach me. I think I'll be fine. Time to base! Rumble with Cosmic Drive first item, that's not good. What? That's... No. 
Now I've got a lot of AP. My misfortune gets a solo kill. Everything is going well right now. So I didn't go towards Cosmic Drive here because I have like really good ba uh, base for the need to see Dark Shot, Dark Soon, perfect money. I remember last time I played against this Lucian. I lost to him really hard because I was not like I was not focused enough when I was playing, and I got cheese level one, and I it lost me so much HP. My lane got completely lost. This time though, oh how did my stun miss? That's not good. Oh, there is no flash. This time I definitely was a lot more considerate when it comes to laning. I don't know if we have the damage to kill them though. Like I'm hitting spells, but. Lucian is already back. He still doesn't have Borg though, poor guy. Oh, now I'm getting ulted. Karma doesn't really have a lot of damage, so when Lee Sin dies and I don't have a lot of spells up or complex damage, Lucian's gonna rotate top and I can't help them. Brother's also gonna die, so I'm just gonna take this time to push mid lane and get the reset. I think I'm gonna complete Rabadon first because I already went this items. Never mind, let me buy Moose Pit actually. TP bot lane. Is Kartus getting more popular? This is like the third game today where I'm playing against Kartus and it's like kind of 1v9 ing most of the games. Is it back? League of Kartus? He can ult me. Oh, I can solo kill, I think. Yeah, I can. Yeah. With uh, this bike, I actually catch him with Moose Pit. That's why I know I can solo kill him. I think if I didn't have this item, he wouldn't die here. I got a shot down. Gotta be a bit careful not dying. I think I can get the whole tower here. My, my. Thank you. So we're very close to both Cosmic and Rabadon. I'm not sure which one I want to buy. I usually Cosmic is like more of a fun item, but Rabadon is just like a strong power spec. Not really sure what's happening. We're trading bot set for top set right now. My Karma will probably not die. I'm not tipping for her. It's never worth it. That was a bad one. Now I do ultimate and I stun him. Okay, that's pretty close. Cartus ult might finish me though. I need to start recalling. Don't get Cartus ulted. My karma wants to fight. I'm on my way. I wanna fight too. One kill for me. I'm gonna steal the kill. Boom. Okay, I didn't steal the kill. Actually, can I go bot and you go top? I think that's better. Yeah, Karma. This Karma is doing good, at, uh, good on macro. We report this Lucian again. Wait, what? There's some beef from previous game that I'm not aware of. So here I want to steal the Crocs first and potentially just look for a cheese. Like someone's going to face check this, right? Uh, maybe? Is anybody coming come here? Is this awkward? Hello, please? Don't tell me they're AFK. No way, bro. I'm just making a fool out of myself. Does Cosmic make sense without Leandri? Yeah, I think so. I don't think you need Leandri at all on this champion. Goodbye, Cartus. You're that. I want to deny him the cannon. There we go. Oh, what happened to Toplin? Toplin died. That's fine. I mean, I think the game is probably over. They probably kind of gave up at this point. Before Lianji perma proc the mask? Yeah, but the Lianji, uh, pa uh, sorry, the cosmic passive was different back then. Because the cosmic passive stacked up before, but now it's just flat. Like, you just hit one spell and it gives you a pit. So it's different. I want the plant. Bye bye. Remember, this Rumble has Clans and Abyssal Mask. It's a tank. It's a tank. Okay, it doesn't help Clans. Still a tank, though. I'm not doing any damage to this guy. Oh, he's also not doing any damage to me. So I think I keep Alistair alive for a little bit. So Misfortune autos him, heals up with BT, and then I finish him, I guess. 
No major gold. Fuck, I wanted to do a major. How much gold you got for Spurs Strike? My guess is around 400 to 500. 300. I missed. I missed. Guess I overestimated myself. It's not that good of a rune, but I don't think Syndra has any better runes really to take. That's pretty much the TLDR why I play it. It does have synergy with Syndra's kid though. The way she like tries to start fights, it makes like a lot of sense on her. If she starts fights from long range and she usually like procs it on people. And then she wants really gold, she's a very gold reliant champion. So some extra gold income is not bad, like this Lucian to plus 300 right there. Oh my god, another cannon bro, make it stop. Alistar, so every time you, you press flash and you, uh, sorry, you press tap and you see if Alistar has six flash. And if he doesn't, then you know he has flash up. So right there, I pressed tap right before Alistar went on me and I realized he doesn't have hex flash. And so I knew he was gonna flash on me. And then I can just flash. Anyway, GG well played, guys. I need to stop playing this champ. I say this every time I play her, it's too easy. I can play half as bad with Syndra, and I'll win easier than if I play way half as good. Like, it's crazy. This champ is too easy. Okay, so I want to actually investigate what happened in the previous game. Yeah, find Nemesis in the damage graph, classic. Let me actually see what they were talking about. 17-7. Oh, he was 9-16. Oof. I guess he was not having a good game. So he played Syndra and he lost against Solution. Now he reversed the matchup and he lost the matchup again. GG.